Hi everyone, Anthony Cummings here. Right guys, I want to say first of all a massive thank you for the people who post first on my page. I always see your posts there. Uh, guys, I do know who you are. I do read the posts there, uh, at least for a couple of days. And um, I do. I just wish I could get involved more with you guys. But keep up the comments. And I see you do this, Anthony. On this, I, I do get to read them when I can. So keep keep going, guys. And thank you very much. Right, basically, chaps. Uh, as you know from that video I put up a few months ago, is that just time has run out for me. I can literally either do, you know, be an author. Or be a YouTuber and then being an author has to be the one because that was the one that pays the way. So what I want to say here today is I'm trying to keep you up to date as much as I possibly can with what I'm doing in Japan. So this is a very, very rough ad hoc video of little bits of things I'm doing in Japan to show you just, just what I'm up to and how busy I am. So I'm here at Ayonji Temple at the moment and... Um, I've just put a, a mini collection of things together that I've actually done here in Japan um, that are not the main things, they're sideline things. So have a look through, see what you think. But definitely, guys, leave them comments below. Thank you very much for all the comments that you put on those those core people at the start who always bang it on. So, But before, before, before that, let's have a quick look at Natori's grave. I do quite like looking. So we come in. So this is the founder's grave there. And this is, that's the grave of the real Natori Masazumi. I don't think people quite grasp how important that is. That That's like, was missing for 400 years. And technically the Shonen Ki only got famous 100 years ago, but it's been missing for 100 years and we found it. And it's back up now in its rightful place. There's going to be a little roof over that at some point. Um, of course we've got, you know, the info box there. Um, and this is where he came. This is where the real ninja actually came. And he um, walked through this, these gates, walked up here. Obviously it's now been rebuilt, but this is the same place. But anyway, let's get on with it. So we've got the old ninja information on. Let's get on with it and uh, see. So, tatami mats. You've got, you're not allowed to walk on them with slippers. You've got to take your slippers off. Then go onto the mats. And that's where I've been living, in the Yoshie's house. So um, she's kind of let me use her tatami room. And uh, you just bang your foot on the way in the morning or I just fold it out because I'll be on there every night. So this is the workstation, as messy as it looks. We're going through, which is Natori book two. Um, excuse me. Basically, that's the orders of things, the orders of generals and my computer. The Yoshie's computer, the, the basket that gets all the waste in it. And basically what we're doing here is getting sort of ready to, well we're cleaning up book two, which is, we've got multiple versions of book two. As you can see Yoshie's got notes on everything and I'm obviously not going to show you too much but... <clears throat> Yoshie's references for armour books, she bought me a copy, but we're going through all the parts of the armour from Japanese research. It's a pretty good book actually, I say Yoshi bought me a copy which is cool. Um, we're going through, got some old images of battle and warfare that we're going through, all the old different images, trying to match up what we find in the book to the different Look at that. Uh, remember when we talk about um, that's Nobunaga's helmet on a staff? When we talk about helmet bearers, that's what we mean. Uh, all the different types of banners are there. Um, basically, we're just going through everything. But it's. I've been in Japan. I've been in Japan about a month now, but the first two um, weeks I did a Natori Ryu trip here so if you want to look at that click the link below there will be a link below uh, it'll take you to a one and a half hour video of me going round with the boys in Japan uh, now I'm going to do this and move to Wakayama soon so tomorrow actually no not tomorrow the day after so we've got two more days of this and then we're moving off to Wakayama to um, where I shall be staying in a temple well next door to a temple technically but I'll be spending a month in and out of the temple around there these are the uh, documents, some of the documents we've worked from in the past, some of the um, books we've published, that's what they actually came from with all Yoshie's notes. I won't show you too much not to 
take up too much of your shape, private life. These things have become my favourite things in the world. They actually nori that you put on your rice and they, they're from Korea, but they're really, really nice. Right, for those guys who don't know, I am useless at maths. I mean terribly useless. Um, so what I'm doing is, if you've read the Banton Shuka and all that, it talks about so many soldiers are in this ken and this tsubo and this area, and it gets really confusing. So Yoshi is teaching me the correct way. So basically, one ken. So I'm looking at one ken. Ignore my bed. Ignore my bed. Just a moment. So, one ken. Oh, come close, Yoshi. One ken is a tatami mat length, and this is a tatami mat length because each tatami mat is half a ken. So, sorry, each tatami mat is half a ken, yeah? So that is one ken. So from here to here is one ken, and from here to here is one ken. Now, the new Natura Ryu book says that in two ken square, so that's a one ken square, you will fit six people. Is that right, Yoshi? Yeah. So, because the tatami mat here is half a ken, one ken, half a ken, that makes two ken. So from here to here is two ken. But from here to here is 1.5 ken. So half a tatami mat is half a ken. A full tatami mat is one ken. So then that would mean there, Nick. So there is, from that wall to here, is two ken. Huh? So that means that from, let's put the slipper there. That means in that area, from here all the way to here, and from here all the way to here, is actually two ken square. Is that right, Yoshi? She's nodding at me. Excellent. And six men can fit into a two ken square. So from there to there, one, two, three. So more than likely, one, two, three, one, two, three. And stats one samurai Yoshi with five helpers. Yep, but no horse, I presume. I'll go through that. So just to give you a rough idea of how we calculate these things, guys, and work it out, because I don't know maths, Yoshi is helping with this. So that basically, guys, is when you're a shinobi and you're looking down, you are looking at, you calculate. So when you get these numbers in the Bansen Shukai and in Book of Samurai, these numbers, you do an entire field and you watch how many people are there, sorry, you look at the entire encampment and it will tell you how many men are there by checking the length. That's why Shinobi do a lot of mathematics. <laughs> Yoshi is laughing at me. <laughs> Shut up, woman. <laughs> okay, it's not for lying down, sorry, I've just gone back to the main text. It's actually um, for standing up. So yes, you can fit a horse in it. My apologies, guys. Um, you can fit a horse in and you can fit five servants in. It's for, we've just looked at the kanji, and the kanji says in position, meaning that they are actually stood up. So yes, the horse would be there, the samurai would be on the horse, and the five servants would be around him, all perfectly fine. She's complaining at me. She's complaining at me. I'm filming it because I'm trying to work it out. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Go on, wind again. She, she, she does this all the time. But she's normally right and I'm normally wrong. But don't tell her. She's coming from this way. Right, me and Yosha having a... Me and the Yosha having a um, break. And we're going to a tea ceremony. Just a little social thing in her neighbourhood. Let's see where we go. Sui, doko. Yeah. And, and the rest of it? It's south for all citizens in Niza. So. Oh, okay. It's nice. Is it a traditional building? Is it traditionally uh, yeah. built? Yeah, yeah. Or is it like concrete inside and made to look no. nice? So we're in this old house and uh, we're coming for the tea ceremony. I didn't realise it's traditional. 
So with Yoshi and her friend at the minute, the person who's been explaining this is Yoshi's friend, Atsukosa. <laughs> the, the ladies are doing the tea ceremony. So basically they're saying we've got to get down to your elbows, you're not allowed to pick it up. When you're observing things you put your elbows on the floor and then you open it, have a look, so you don't drop it, so you can't really drop it from a height. And you place it back and the next person has a look. When we come around, so then the next lady there will be doing it. So basically, there's a. Oh, <laughs> so the woman. <laughs> they keep arguing. With. So the woman was telling me that you've got to walk with suriyashi. So we all know suriyashi, ni. and you've got six steps. So one, two, three, four, five, six. But don't stand on there, ni. So I've got it a little bit wrong. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah. One more time. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, come back! <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so, so there's six. So basically, you've got to walk in Suriyashi at all times, and you've got to get six steps across. And then, of course, we're observing the window. I never knew this was here. It's awesome. You want a cool boyfriend? <laughs> so we're sat, we're just sat in that school, she teaches English. We're sat in her room and she's come with kimono, she's going to be going out to see her friend soon. So very, very nice, so it's just sit down and relax, a bit of food and uh, enjoy life. Right guys, I'm just leaving Yoshie's house, so um, basically my workstation's been cleaned up, she's going to carry on working on book two, um, and now I'm going to move down to Wakayama, so I've got a long day ahead of me, go get my hair chopped, try and find a beard trimmer somewhere, that's not ridiculously expensive, and then get into the flat at Wakayama. So the reason I'm sending you these vids is just so you can see, I don't have time to make the vids anymore. Uh, I'm travelling around and doing a lot of work, so uh, and it's going to be like this for months, so um, possibly till August. <laughs> so most of my year's gone, so I won't be on YouTube. Uh, but we'll get them. It, it's probably more productive to get the books done, I think, definitely. Well, we're back on the old uh, Shinkansen guys, the bullet train, and off to Wakayama. Right, guys, I am in. As you can see, hair has been chopped. Um, I am in my flat in Wakayama, which is owned by the temple, Eunji Temple, which has the grave of Natori Masazumi in it. And uh, this is where I shall be staying. So there's my bed. It's an old room, but it's nice. I've got a kitchen. Um, obviously that leads outside. Bathroom. And this is where I shall be working from. My armour is there. Um, katana is there flag, Kishu Hangungaku, Natori Ryu, and it's Aonji Temple basically at the bottom. Um, my kit, my clothes, towels, stuff like that. I've just got some new Natori, um, I've got a Natori Ryu. Um, doggy and a camera. So basically, I've got one month here, chaps. So I'm going to be studying, working. But the monk has got me working hard. He's got a schedule for me and everything. So first day here, I've got him up in the morning. Got to go clean the temple. So okay, you know, I sort of came here to do some more work. I've been roped in loads of that. So, but it's all right. It's nice to help out here and there. You alright, guys? Okay. This is the Wakagawa River, and uh, it's my first main free day. But I come across, I worked this morning, and I'm just gonna go for a mad long walk and check out all of Wakayama. So I'm feeling the sunburn already, 
so I need to be careful there, I'm going to get the old Tenegui out. So I'm going to go travel, have a look around Wakayama, see what we come up with. Alright guys, we do some work around the temple, we've got a festival coming up on Saturday, or Sunday, one of the two, and we've been shifting new banners, uh, we've put up a new, um, a new signboard for the gate, if you notice this is this is actually, of course, a Buddhist temple, but these are Shinto Tori gates, and this is the new sign we've put up. Um, so we've got the old um, DIY equipment now. Now, this is what a lot of people don't realise is actually Shinto and Buddhism was very much connected in the samurai era, and then it was only later that they were really ripped apart in the sort of imperial times of Japan. So, uh, you know, so while we're at a temple, we've also got to dedicate to the Inari, which is the spirit of... Um, Shinto here and we're going to have this festival and I'm going to be involved in it. I'm not sure what's going on at the minute but I'm going to be involved in it this Saturday Sunday so uh but I'm here today at the reading group so it's quite a warm day I think right guys I'm here and we're at the um Shoninki reading club we've got everybody here and uh we're just uh, setting up and this happens once a month just to let you know guys, I'm just, we've just finished and we're sat here just discussing today's chapter and going over it with um, Yamamoto-san. So that's the building I'm staying in guys, that one there. And then this is my walk to the old, uh, the old temple. Doing here the temples basically behind my building on the other side. So it's basically over there, uh, probably that's the temple roof there. I've so we'll go past this temple every day. I go in occasionally, have a quick look. That's somebody's nice house. It's quite cool. It's very Japanese. They've got the old, um, I think they've got the old twisted trees in there. Nice traditional gate. It's all quite modern, but uh, it's nice that they keep it that way. Just let me get a quick bang over there. You see up here, chaps. Um, as you can see, there's three Natori tablets here, uh, graves. Oh, hi, oh. <laughs> Good morning. Mm. <laughs> Right, we've got it ready, guys. So. <laughs> so, guys, we've got ready for the. Um, we're just prepping for the festival. So, memorial service. I'm not quite sure what we're having. I'm not sure if it's a solemn event or a, a fun event. It seems a bit. But everybody's getting ready. Right, I've just had a go at Shukyo, which is drawing up the Heart Sutra. You like that, mate? So we're just drawing out the heart sutra. So um, that's my pale attempt there. And these guys are doing it. So and what happens is they get put on here. This is the monk, and they get put on here, and then later they're given to the um Later they're given to the, um, the temple, sort of given to the gods if you know what I mean, you, you, your intention is given, so we're just prepping, just prepping. For
lots of stuff I've got on Nintendo and do. So um, it's you know it's difficult to get on YouTube because there's a load of work being done behind the scenes here, and obviously this is part of it. I spent all yesterday about seven hours prepping this room, and then today obviously I'm going to be here all day. So there's so much to do, guys. So sorry for my absence. Right, basically they're going to start throwing stuff to people now so um, they're going to throw this lot to that lot so I think I've got to do it I'm not quite sure actually I'm not sure of what's happening as in like you know the actual specifics but I think it's my job rice ball throwing he said yeah they are there they are so I've got to throw the rice balls <laughs> Oh, which one? No, you don't want them. That is actually the first time I've ever seen that in Japan and literally it's like everybody just turned up, waited outside, grabbed a load of stuff and went. It was really cheap stuff as well, it's like you literally buy it dirt cheap. I wonder if these are the poorer sections of society, I'm not sure. Some of them sounded a little bit rough if you know what I mean, a little bit uneducated and rude. Uh, no, not horrible like, but while the ceremony was going on they were just chatting outside and smoking, a little bit low class sounding. Uh, for Japanese and seems that they were um, just here for the scrub and they buggered off <laughs> but very nice it was nice to watch and it's very communal I've just spoken to Yamamoto and he said that yeah they are pretty much the sort of like the lower class of Japan where they go around all the different uh, temples and they do that and they get to the front and they get as much as they can and then they basically go off to the next temple whenever they have it. And he said, yeah, by their conversation, their voices, they're a little bit lower class, a little bit scavengerish. So it sort of attracts those type of people. But it's the first time I've really seen them. You see them one by one here and there occasionally in Japan, the sort of lower class people. They're not, they're not so obvious here. In England, it's really obvious who are lower class and who are middle and who are upper class. But here it's not so obvious. But there, you could see it. So we were, he was having a little bit of a giggle after. But uh, it was nice to see everybody sort of together. <laughs> so basically everybody's having lunch now. Everybody's having... Right guys, it is about 9 o'clock at night. The temples are closed. And I just wanted... Excuse me. Basically, I, want, I took my camera to the Yamamoto family. Because I wanted to film inside, but I, I could, it was inappropriate. So we went behind the scenes. In Japanese houses, you get the area where guests can go, and then you get the area where family can go, and then you get the deeper area where only it's really like their private bedrooms and things like that. It's not like in the UK where you can just wander in and where's your toilet, it's upstairs, you know what I mean? They've got very private areas. 
and um, so I wanted to film, but it, it was inappropriate. But tonight, it was really, really nice to be sort of behind the scenes. We had takeaway Domino's pizza, you know, English tea, um, cakes and things like that. But it was definitely, um, you're inside of Japanese society that way. It's very difficult, when you come to Japan, you can come as a, as a foreigner, and it's very difficult to get on the inside of people's families. But it, So it's a shame I couldn't show you that tonight, but just so you're aware, however. Um, so basically, guys, I've got to stop because I've got to walk down there where it's dark. But on the whole, I just want to let you know, guys, that I do appreciate whatever you know you support on there. Chatting on YouTube, those are on Nato Ryu Hub uh, for me there. So basically, write your messages. I'll have a look when I can. Uh, but apart from that, I'm really busy at the minute with sort of like a socialising with the Japanese to build better rapport with the Natori family and the Yamamoto family, and then um, obviously typing up the next books. We've got two or three. I've just been I've just been requested to do another two books, so it's taking me to the middle of 2018 at the minute. So anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. I'm in Japan. I'll try and get another video up when I can. Enjoy your time wherever you are in the world.